Good morning guys. Today we'll be taking this tractor out to work on the driveway a little bit. Yes! As many of you know, we live on a steep hillside, mountainside, whatever you want to call it. And our driveway kind of washes away a bit each time we get a big rain and it's been kind of deteriorating a little bit over time so what i'm going to try to do today is level that out a little bit so when we're driving down the driveway we aren't driving down an angle like this and some, some spots just kind of still want to have the slant so the water can run off but not nearly as steep as it is currently and i'll show you that here in a second got the box plate hooked up Three hours on this thing so far. Anyway, the idea today is to use the combination of the box blade and the front end loader to kind of regrade our driveway a little bit in a couple areas. Once I regrade it, I'll be hauling this gravel down the driveway. Probably would have been easier just to have him spread it himself, but. I don't think I'll be using all of it, so I'll just be bringing it over, probably even hook up the, or bring down the um, cart as well, fill up the cart with some gravel, fill up the bucket so it doesn't take as long to transport it all down there. First step is to start leveling this out. Is it a happy boy? Is it a happy puppy? Yes it is. So you can see through here, I kind of made a first pass after we had some storm damage. I don't think I got much footage of that, but I've already tried to repair parts of this. But I'll show you up here where we have the biggest issue. So as you can see here, it starts to kind of slant off to the side there. It's not too bad right here, but it gets worse as we're getting down here. Like here, you can really see it kind of berms up over here and the water kind of drains right along there, washing everything out of the side. So I'm trying to slant this out because we have a big old ditch running along the side of our driveway. I want the water to go through that ditch, not along the driveway. So try to slant it a little bit more off this way. And eventually I might just dig a couple slots around here just to feed it over to the ditch as well. So the water goes in those slots and goes off to the side rather than just flowing down this hill. But I first plan on taking the box blade and just kind of scooping it. It's probably gonna take a few passes to get through here and dig, cause there's some big rocks and stuff in here as well. Just kind of dig it up. Then I'm gonna push all this material over to this side. Hopefully that'll fix some of the slant. You can see down here, it's really bad. Like we're almost like, I wouldn't say that far, but it, it's, it's a pretty bad angle. <laughs> I'm probably going to be mixing a lot of dirt with gravel, so I'm going to have to use that gravel that I just bought and respread that out through here. We'll see if I can get all this in before it starts raining today. I think a lot of this is just going to be tearing it up a little bit at a time and shoving it over with the rake. I'm starting to wonder if I should scrape this gravel off first so I can reuse it rather than just burying it with dirt. So you can at least see what I'm going for here trying to scrape out that edge there so it kind of rolls off. Some of this I am just raking by hand as well just because I don't want to tip the tractor over because it is still kind of steep through here. Kind of hard to tell through by camera. But yeah, probably take another pass to the middle here, loosen that material up, scrape it down over here and kind of keep on doing that on my way down. So as you can see, it's kind of a mix of tractor work and manual work, but we are taking that big old hump out of the middle so it can drain off. I know some people usually have the 
berm in the middle so it can kind of spread off to either side. But since we have this ditch over here, I'd rather have the water running off to this ditch than tear up our driveway on this side. So most of it is tearing it up with the box blade, leveling out with the front end loader and the box blade. But then there's spots up here where it's just too steep to get the tractor. So I'm having to tear it up over here, rake it over manually so we can get a level spot for the tractor to work on, then take the tractor through and try to grind up the middle a little bit again. That way we can make it a nice, even slope. Well guys, it's far from perfect. But as you can see, it doesn't slant down quite as much. So now when I'm driving the tractor, I don't feel like I'm gonna tip over as I'm driving down the middle. So I got, got rid of that steep part. It's still slanted quite a bit, as you can see just by looking at the tractor, but that's intended so we can have the water flush off into this ditch here evenly and not just in one spot. So hopefully we don't have parts of our driveway getting washed away. Um, Deanna corrected me, we have seven tons of gravel that we're gonna be putting over the top of this, spreading it out. Not all of it needs it. I think some of this is still pretty well gravel, just mixed with some dirt, but we'll probably still throw some of that gravel on top of this. Now that we got the driveway fairly well leveled out, at least as level as we're gonna get it so we can still have some drainage, I think I might actually drop the box split off here, hook up our cart here, put a tarp in here, fill it up with some gravel. That way I don't have to make as many trips with the front end loader with gravel all the way down there. I can haul it over there. It'll take a bit because this isn't a dump cart. It'd be nice to have a dump cart, but I'll just have to shovel the gravel out of here, which will take a little bit longer. But it'll be going back and forth with the tractor about a thousand times. So <laughs> time to get that started. It is starting to sprinkle, so we'll see how long we can do this before it starts downpouring or something. Sometimes you just gotta learn by your mistakes. Yes, it hauls more material down here, but since it's not a dump cart, shoveling this all out by hand is just way too much work. I'm just gonna have to drive the tractor back and forth a lot more times. I probably could have taken all these loads in the time it took me to unshovel that, so. Yep, it might just take a little while because I have a little tractor, but we'll get her done. Making progress, guys. Quite a bit of gravel taken out. I think we'll have a little bit of leftover gravel after this too. We can hit up some other projects luckily, so. Just putting a top layer on, then I might have them come through with a finer layer to lay on top of that. Top 
layer on top of all this dirt that we exposed. A little bit on the bumpy side. We're gonna have to level this out a bit more. I'm gonna hand you off to my trusty assistant. guys one more load and we're gonna be finished up for today there's still some spots that we can patch but I'll show you what we got done so far well guys it's a lot of work it's not a hundred percent done but it's a heck of a lot better than what it was before I don't think I got a very good before shot here but this was angled like this beforehand when you were trying to get through here we dug through that side pushed it over there and we threw a layer of um, some powder and some crushed rock on top so you can still see some of that orange or the red dirt through there but a lot of that is also gravel just dirty gravel so we think once the rain comes through here it'll kind of blend it all in together and if we need to come through with another lighter layer on top we'll go ahead and do that but if you guys like this video hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more videos like it you can also check us out at and as always, Adventure on. we're tractor on. <laughs>